Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Rayman Mini. This is probably going to be the final episode of the series as we've made our way to the sixth world. This one looks like it might be a lot smaller. As you can see, there are only three levels to it. Uh, so we'll try it out. We have 100%ed everything up leading to this, every boss fight, every level, everything. So yeah, let's start with 6-1. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> Down here, there we go. We're already playing as basic Rayman, wanted to play as him to sort of finish things off. It is the bonus world, starting with V1, extreme fishing. Let's go. So I don't know exactly what's going on. Okay, that's fast. That was really fast. Uh, let's try again, extreme fishing. Here we go. So it looks like there are indeed fish. Oh man, gotta glide over this way. We're already up to 25. Oh, I was supposed to get that. This is a fast level. Seems to be maybe like a short and sweet level. We'll have to wait and see. Now, so I'm supposed to slam on that coin so that we can also get the one lum that gets away. Okay, well actually, maybe not if we punch at the right time, but then we can jump, grab all that stuff, kick that, and then we're good. I don't know what's after that though. Whoa. Okay, there we go, there we go. I think I might have missed something there. That's, that felt odd to me. We got the 35 that time. Oh man, thank you. And jump for it. Awesome. And I missed it again. There's just so much going on there. It's, it's hard to keep up and remember everything. This time we'll get it though. Yep. Got it. Going down this way. Punch that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm supposed to grab onto the dandelion and then fall to my doom. So don't touch the water there at all. This is a lot like the one boss fight we had with the fish. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, I made it. Grabbing all that stuff, kicking that, very good. Slamming on that for sure, and then missing these lums. I mean, I got them, but I missed everything else. That is not easy. Okay, hold on to the dandelion now. Don't get caught by the fish. What am I supposed to do about that? I have no clue, but it definitely is some extreme fishing. The problem is the fish are eating us. You know, we're, we're not really, usually when you say fishing, it's it's somebody is catching fish. The fish are definitely the ones catching us. So is it Raymaning? <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Ah, I see. So I missed out on the lums before, but not this time, right? Oh my gosh. So we're up to 40. I will slam on this. Oh no, not this again. I forgot what that did and I missed some. Oh gosh, it just keeps going and going, doesn't it? I was wrong, it is not a short and sweet level so far. Okay, there we go, hopefully. I don't know what's after this. It looks like all this is. Oh man, oh man, no. Oh, come on. I missed it. And that would have been 92 for that coin there. So that is so tough. It took me forever to get there and then I messed it up. That last little segment, after it goes all like neon colored, there's just like these couple of moments where you need to make the most perfect of jumps. It's so hard to work with. No! Oh, 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 oh. oh man! I've been stuck on this level for so long. It is crazy difficult. It just asks so much of you. It's insane. And I messed that part, part up. That might have been the last of it. I don't really know. Didn't get to see our lum count. I'm trying my best though, I promise. Oh, that's how you do it. I was supposed to hit that. Oh, oh I'm so, just like a one step closer, right? One step closer, a thousand steps back. I'm gonna get it. It just takes a lot of time. I've already been here for like 45 minutes. Okay, come on. Come on, there it is. Oh my gosh, I did it. That took so long. Oh man, I am afraid to find out what the next level's gonna be like. That was the first level of the world. What is the next level gonna be? If we do it in one try, I'd be so happy. So this one is caterpillar art. I guess it's like art for caterpillars, I don't know. All right then, ow. That didn't work out very well. Uh, let's try again. Okay, let's try this again. Hop off of that guy, get a couple of these lums. This is already looking very fast paced but it only, only takes us a little bit of time just to sort of figure out what's going on. Oh, there's a coin up here. I thought like this level is actually, ow. Okay, th I thought that was a little bit more in the foreground. But yeah, I, I think that this one feels pretty similar to a level we've already been in, but maybe I'm misremembering. 
Ow, I thought I punched there too. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Not turning out so well, but I'm expecting this to take a ton of tries, so I'm just trying to, you know, figure it out as we go along. Bouncing off of that guy for sure, punching through him, grabbing onto that. I gotta get over to that thing, but then also slide all the way. Oh, I missed the lump, and I hit the spikes again. It's a very narrow space right there. Really hard to work with. But anyways, I, I missed a lump, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, really? That's weird. This level's super weird so far. Okay. There we go. I like the music here so far. Very intense. There we go. Punch through that guy, punch this guy, come on. Go, 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 and jump. And land. Slam, oh my gosh, we're up to 65. Could I get it done? I don't know, there's still so much more to go. Whoop, that, ah, okay, we're wall jumping. We're up to 73, it's chasing me. <laughs> okay, hold on, go. No, 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 no way, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Where am I going? Who knows? Man, that was really good though. For how early in we are on this level, I gotta try that again. There we go, there we go, punch through that thing, glide over this way, punch through this guy, no, oh, man, I was trying to jump off of him, didn't quite work. Oh, it's intense. There we go, okay, I don't know what's going on next. We gotta slam down this way, we're up to 97. Oh, 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 there it is. That was significantly more doable than the previous level. I'm glad we got it done. Filling that all the way up, 100 lumps, totally perfect. What is next? The last thing, it is high hanging fruit. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a boss fight, so there should no, be no lumps, but there will be a clothing tag. Oh my gosh, is this guy. I forget what his name is, but he's playable in Origins and in Legends. He's like, oh, no, is he a teensy? Yeah, he's a teensy. That's what they're called. It's a giant evil teensy of doom. Oh no. Uh, oh, well, hey, I made it. I didn't know Rayman could do that. Uh, but I guess he can. Oh man, oh, no man. What do you do there? Gotta get some like picture perfect wall jumps to make that happen. Uh, well, we'll try again. Cause this teensy guy is not very nice. I think he might have been one of the main bad guys. Oh gosh, to the previous games? I can't remember. It's been too long. It's been way too long. Uh, we'll have to play them again sometime soon. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, there we go. But I thought I landed there, but the game disagrees. So far, this is tough. I gotta punch my way through this. And then jump glide, jump kick. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is so challenging. You need to sort of slide down a little bit to make it work. All right, well. Let's try one more time. Whoop. Ah, oh, I missed it again. It's super tough to not do what I'm trying to do there. Oh man, oh man. Okay, we made it. Ah. Oh, this is falling. This is falling. No, I'm falling. Ah. I, I make it once again, one step forward and then all the way back to the beginning. I'm slowly starting to figure it out though. That is for sure. I think it might be smarter to get rid of him there and then slide down, slide down a little bit. That's it, that's it, that's it. Boom, kick you out of the way. Punch all these guys, grab onto this and hold on for dear life. Jump over this way. I hope I didn't miss out on anything. Ouch. I'm trying to keep an eye out. Like I'm, That's the hard thing. I'm trying to focus so hard on making Rayman control correctly, jump at the perfect times, but I'm also trying to look for the clothing, wherever that might end up being. So. Doing both of those things can be challenging, especially when that happens. Right into the spikes. There we go. Now I'm up here. I don't quite, oh, okay, I guess I was supposed to jump. Don't know how I was supposed to know that. That's a little weird, but I got a little bit farther again, just inch by inch. We sort of, sort of figure out what's going on, but then I make this mistake again, every time. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, that's not what I needed. Oh gosh, it was up there, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, I gotta do this, don't I? Oh my gosh, I figured it out. There it is. Oh man, go all the way back down though, because I don't wanna hit these spikes. So we got the gift, but what do we do now? Go through this guy, go through that guy. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Oh my gosh, jump, punch, punch again. Oh no, oh no. Ah! 
Oh, I was supposed to jump, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> it's so tough. Whoa, okay. I'm making it, I'm making it. Sort of. Hold on tight, Rayman. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, punch this person out of the way. Oh man, oh man, slam down this way. Oh, whoa, -ho -ho! I just barely missed him. What is going on? It just doesn't end. My gosh, ouch. Okay, okay, I haven't made it this far yet. Oh man, where am I going? I'm going this way and, oh, that's it. Okay, there was no finish panel. It's just a green, not a green, a yellow pumpkin. That was it, we won. <laughs> okay, perfect. I can't believe it. This episode's probably not even very long for you guys, but it has been taking forever for me. It has been crazy difficult, but there we go. We have completed the game. It is 100% complete. All six worlds are done. Going this way, of course, brings us to the main menu. So the last thing I wanted to do to finish off this series is of course take a quick look at every single collectible thing we have and also read the description of them. Um, that's something I sort of want to do. So starting way over here, we have Rayman. This limbless hero from the Glade dreams is always raring for a fresh adventure to save the world. So yeah, we're gonna be reading through all these because they actually all have their own description. So this one is Raymulk. Deep, deep in the Glade of Dreams, Jungle lives this cool yet hairy hero. His mind is on a different planet and his hobby is chasing big monsters for dinner. I like that one. Over this way we have uh, Raphael. Uh, Ra it's like Raphael, but Ra Raphael. <laughs> has been hard at work with his brushes and cannot wait to show everyone his amazing paintings. That's cool. Uh, this is uh, Dark Rayman. Uh, Raymesis, I like it. An attempt to tarnish Rayman's reputation, Raymesis dresses like him and stalks the Glade of Dreams smashing things. A desperate case in need of serious anger management. Indeed. Uh, this is Splinter Ray, which I think is a reference to Ubisoft's Splinter Cell games. And the inhabitants of the Glade of Dreams have rarely gotten a glimpse of this stealthy hero. He moves only in the sh shadows, mumbling about some crazy conspiracy theories. Interesting. Over this way we have, oh, a glow box version of Rayman. This is Raybox. To play a joke on his friend, Rayman asked Voodoo Mama to paint him like glow box with a spell. There's only one problem. He doesn't know how to get rid of the spell. Uh-oh. <laughs> so now he just looks like this for now. Uh, next up we have Raywolf. I guess it's like a werewolf kind of thing. Raywolf is really into astronomy. You can tell because he's out in the Glade of Dreams during every full moon. Oddly enough, he has nowhere to be found. He was nowhere to be found during the last moon eclipse, though. Hmm. Next up, we have Assassin Ray. The dream of this young pirate is to become a part of a famous of the famous Assassin's Brotherhood, but they never let him in. Maybe because his nose always stands out from his hood. Yikes. <laughs> Alrighty, then this next Rayman is the Ray Doom. I like this one. Ray Doom hails from the deep south and has a very warm smile that can light up a room or even an entire house. Wasn't well, that great? Alrighty, so over this way we have uh, Ray Arms. This guy could give Rayman a bad name and everybody mistakes him for our hero, but hey, Rayman would never have been in his legendary purple t-shirt, that's for sure. Uh, next up, we have Shadow Ray. The biggest movie fan of the Glade of Dreams. He went as far as to remove any color from himself as a tribute to those old silent movies. Everybody on the Glade thinks he's an artist. <laughs> I mean, he does have yellow eyes, so he hasn't removed all color. Anyways, next up we have the Ray Voss. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Well, judging by this guy's outfit and haircut, he could certainly help you in that matter. Okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, next up, we have uh, all of the Barbara stuff. So we got classic Barbara. This small barbarian princess is a strong and fierce warrior. No one wields an ax quite like her, indeed. And if we go all the way over, where is the beginning of all this? Here we go. Uh, this is Ursula. This princess has been trained from a very young age to become the world's best spy. Gadgets and secrets missions are part of her daily life. Very cool. Next up we have Olympia. Born on Mount Olympus, this little princess has been sent by the gods to help Rayman save the world. Very cool. Next up we have Estelia. This princess used to be used to party all year long, but when her world was attacked, she was first to rise against the enemy. Nice. Then we have Emma. 
Ursula's little sister is also an amazing spy, but she's more used to secret missions on exotic islands in the middle of the ocean. That explains the flashy outfit. Indeed it does. Next up we have Avelina. This young princess is training hard to become a great assassin. Her biggest problem is that there aren't many rooftops to climb on in the Glade of Dreams. Gotcha. Uh, so this one is Sibylla, I guess. Olympia's twin sister is all about running and slashing. She's competing with Olympia all the time. They even call these games. What? I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, this time we got Selena. Estelia's big sister is much less about parties and more about slapping baddies, which makes her an even fiercer warrior. So that's Selena. Over this way we have Aurora. This warrior princess saw her kingdom being invaded by the nasty toads, so she swore to kick them out. Well, that's a good thing to do. Uh, next up, it's Twyla. Aurora's sisters hate, hates the toads as much as her sister. Growing up on a giant beanstalk turned her into an acrobatic warrior. Interesting. Oh, this one's cool. Got the water bottle helmet. Swifterella. She may not be able to jump the tallest buildings, but she's definitely faster than a speeding train. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's Swifterella. Very cool. And then next up, we have the final uh, Barbara costume. It's Elysia. Elysia. Barbara's twin selected this dark look so as to not be mistaken for her sister. Even if their fighting skills are equal, the two of them fighting together are like an unleashed hurricane. So that is uh, Barbara's twin sister, apparently. Very cool. Next up, we have all the Glowbox costumes, which he has the least of everybody. So uh, that took a while. Classic Glowbox. This nice guy is Rayman's best friend. He always follows Rayman on his adventures as long as there's something to eat. <laughs> Okay, next up we have uh, Glombrox. This once great hero has been possessed by Dark Tunes a new spe and now spends his time trying to scare everyone, but it doesn't work so well as many people mistake him with Glowbox. Glowbox. Interesting. So that's Glombrox, but this is just red Glowbox. Once Glowbox's original color, Buddy turned blue to a misadventure involving a blue mosquito's eye and its similarity to a berry. Oh well, they say bluity is in the eye of the holder. <laughs> oh, okay. Next up we have uh, Sir Globrax, a very famous knight who always gets stuck in the most perilous situations. I don't know what he would do without Murphy's help. Alrighty, next up we have Globox with a beard. This is Globulk. This big and hairy hero lives inside a cave deep in the jungle. Sometimes he even comes out when he's hungry. His huge appetite has made him legendary. And I think this is the last one. It's a pink one. Uh, it's Poglox. <laughs> is that, that that's an anagram maybe? No, no, no. That's not an anagram because there's a P instead of a B. No one really knows who this guy is, but he's renowned for wandering half naked in the Glade of Dreams. People are capable of doing crazy things to become famous. So yeah, there we go. Every single character unlocked in Rayman Mini. Everything completely done has been a ton of fun. I don't know if there's credits in this game. There are, so we'll talk over those for just a second. This was the first game I played in the Apple uh, subscription service, Apple Arcade. It was a lot of fun to be honest with you. Um, It was a... Uh, because honestly, this gave me like five or six hours worth of playing, for sure. Honestly, there are games that I pay a lot more than $5 for to get that. So, so far, the Apple Arcade has been worth the money for me. We'll try to check out some other games soon. I know there's Lego Brawls and a couple of other ones I wanted to take a look at, but if there's any Apple Arcade game you would like to see me play, be sure to let me know. But with that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Rayman Mini. Before you go, be sure to comment bonus zebra so any of you watched at the end that you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.